In a previous video, I took you through the steps required to integrate Watson Assistant with Slack using Botkit. Uh, in the video, we cloned this Botkit middleware project to a local machine and used the SimpleBot example um, from the repository as a Node.js app that provided the middleware to integrate um, Watson Assistant with Slack. Since sharing the video, I've had a number of requests around um, hosting the SimpleBot app uh, on IBM Cloud rather than running it on a local machine. And so in this video, I'll take you through the steps required to do just that. In our previous video, you'll remember we left things with um, the SimpleBot app running on a local machine um, and with a Slack app configured in our Slack workspace um, that was integrated with uh, Watson Assistant. And we had a, a quick sample conversation that we'd engage with, with Watson on here. Um, to host this simple bot app on IBM Cloud is, well, really simple. Um, I guess what we can do, first of all, is uh, stop the app on our local machine. Um, and if I do an ls-l, um, you'll see these are the files that are contained in the simple bot directory on, on our uh, local machine here. What we want to do is we want to add a manifest.yaml file to, to this local directory before we push the app to IBM Cloud. So uh, in a text editor, I have a pre-prepared manifest.yaml file. You'll see that I have an application name, a command of npm start to start the app after it's pushed to IBM Cloud, memory configured and a single instance. Um, I'll need to give this app a unique name. So um, if I change this Watson Botkit to Watson Botkit demo, um, and then I can save this manifest.yaml in the SimpleBot directory on my local machine. So Botkit middleware examples, SimpleBot and save. That should be saved. So if I go here and if I do an ls-l, I'll see, yep, I have my manifest.yaml file. So now that we've got our manifest, we're, we're ready to go and we're ready to push this app to IBM Cloud. Um, so first thing we'll do with IBM Cloud is we'll do a bx login minus minus SSO uh, because I'm using a federated ID. I'll go and grab my one-time passcode. I'll cut the video here and I'll bring it back in just a moment after I get my passcode and authenticate. So now that I'm logged in, I'm asked to select an account. So we'll select this particular account. I won't update my IBM Cloud CLI at this time. Um, next thing I'll need to do is target the organization and space that I want to push the app to. So I know in my IBM Cloud environment, if I go to my dashboard here, for example, you'll see um, that I want to push this to my Dalton row at ie.ibm.com organization, and I'm going to push it to my dev space here. So if I go back to my command or my terminal window. So if I do a bx target um, minus o d a l t o n ie.ibm.com minus s dev, so that's my organ space configured for the IBM Cloud CLI. Um, now all that remains for me to do is push the app to IBM Cloud, so I can say bx app push. And the IBM Cloud CLI will read the manifest.yaml file that we've created a moment ago, and you'll see that it's going to push this Watson Botkit demo to IBM Cloud. So let's give that a moment. Okay, so after our BX app push command completes, I should be able to go back to my IBM Cloud dashboard here and refresh. I should see that I have a new app that's running. And I do, and I can see that that's this Watson Botkit demo. That's the app that I just pushed from my local machine to IBM Cloud. So if I go back to my Slack workspace here, you'll see that our bot is still up and running. You'll recall that we stopped this um, app running on our local machine, so this, um, connection here is now actually through IBM Cloud. And so we can test that we're still integrated with uh, Watson by having a chat. Um, and you'll see that I'm getting the responses that I was getting before from the Watson Assistant workspace. So hopefully you'll see that it's super easy to take the Botkit uh, middleware and push the SimpleBot app to uh, IBM Cloud. Um, hopefully this answers the queries that I've been getting since creating my my last video around uh, Watson Assistant with Slack uh, integration using Botkit. Thanks for your time.